Hello there and welcome to a new Hackolate video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can work with reusable definitions inside the Hackolate Studio. In order to do that I'm going to work with a JSON document data model which I've already created. There's only one document in this uh, model which is the document representing a person. Now in that person document you see that there is an address object. Right, so this is a nested object inside the JSON document that has a house number, a street, a city, a state, and a zip. Right. So what I want to do now is I want to convert this part of the um, JSON document into something that we can reuse. Right. Because you know what? There's other things that would have addresses as well. Right. So let's do that. Why don't we go here and say, okay, I'm going to convert this to a model definition. In order to do that, I now, uh, I've just clicked there and as you can see here, we now have a model definition over here, right? We have a little M signifying, you know, that this is actually a model definition. And um, in the schema, we have some internal definitions and we can actually see, you know, that this has been added to the person document. Specifically, you can also see that over here at the bottom, right, where you have a model definition tab that has been added to the user interface. Now, how would it work if you were to reuse this model definition with this address uh, object in a second document? To do that, I'm going to switch to another data model where I've already prepared the uh, skeleton of a company document that has been added here. Well, what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to actually append an attribute from a reference that's a model definition that's an address, right? When I do that, I now have the same um, model definition, right? The, the reusable object, right? I'm, I've actually added it to both my person document and my company document. You can see the definition is still there. Right? There's only one definition and it's been added to both of my documents. To prove that, I can actually make some changes here, right? I can go into the model definition over here and say, well, this zip code that I have over here, that's not a um, number. No, it's actually going to be a string, right? And when I do that over here, you now see that the string, the zip code is also a string over there and over there, right? So updating it over here, right? From a string to a number again, right? We'll update it over there as well. You can actually see this use of these um, model definitions at work by looking and by introspecting the definition of the JSON that is behind these uh, individual um, documents. Right, so if I now go here and I tap the JSON preview, then I can see here that the definition of the, of the person document right, has these different properties, but one of them is actually referencing a definition of an address over there. If I here click the resolved um, dropdown, then I can actually see what it does, right? It pulls in the definition of these, uh, this address uh, object, right? From the um, uh, model definition, right? And same thing, I can actually look at it in a different way by using it as an, as an internal definition and look at the different representations over there, right? So this is really, really easy. There's some other fancy stuff that you can do here. Like for example, you can see where the address definition that I have over here is actually being used in my data model. It's simple in this case because we've only got two documents, but if I've got a lot of these documents, then this um, option where used is going to be super, super interesting. I click this and it immediately tells me that yes, this address is being used inside the person document and it's also being used inside the company document. I can go there immediately and then work with it from there on. There's another thing that's really, really interesting, which is that um, obviously sometimes you might want to um, deviate from these um, uh, reusable definitions, right? So for example, let's say that in the case of um, a company address, I need something else. I need some different type of uh, zip code, for example. Well, in this particular case, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to say here that I'm going to replace these um, 
model definition based attributes by actual implementations of them that are specific to this document replace them by, uh, by attributes and as a consequence now I only have this definition over here I can I, uh, reuse in one place right so right now if I do where used it's only going to be used in the person document as you can tell the last thing that I wanted to show you is the fact that these um, definitions here right which are now internal to my data model can actually also be sourced from external files right so let's say that I go back to my uh, original state here where the company does not yet have an address and the person same thing does not yet have an address right I'm actually going to remove this model definition here as well right and I'm actually going to use an address structure definition that is stored in an external file and maintain the lineage to that file how do I do that well here we go right I'm going to append an attribute from a reference which is going to be external what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose the definition um, that I want to reference in my model here and I'm going to point to a particular file like right? this one over here right and then I apply that right and I say okay what do you want to reuse well it's the actual this reusable address that I want to reuse I apply that and I include that right so here you now have an address object that is referencing an external file same thing here I want to at append an at attribute from a reference that is external right and now I'm going to grab that file over here apply it select the part that I need boom here we are right so now as a consequence both of these um, uh, documents in my data model the person document and the company document are referencing an externally sourced address definition i hope that's clear and i hope that you really liked uh, this video and that it was useful for you um, please send us any comments that you might have and then we can uh, follow up with you separately i wish you a wonderful day and i hope this was useful bye bye